where you are. My name is Professor Stephen Larolotu from International Christian Association. Please join me on every Thursday between 2 and 3 o'clock you know, to hear what God is having for us at this time, the message of the coming back of our Lord Jesus Christ the second time. This message is very needful at this time to prepare for the coming back of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's very essential, very important that yet you tell somebody to come and join you as you come. Don't come alone because it is very, very special and necessary. You shall be well with you as you do so in the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you. Wonderful story of love, so you are far away. Wonderful story of love, still we go for today. Wonderful story of love. Yes, the love of our Lord Jesus Christ towards humanity who came to die in order for us not to die internally, in order for man to understand the will of God towards men. This is the message we are bringing again today. I want to say to someone in the morning time, somebody in the afternoon time, someone in the evening time, wherever you are, whatever is your time, that your day shall be a wonderful day. It shall be glorious to the glory of the Almighty God. Amen. Pray for you today that grace will work for you Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Mercy Amen. of the Lord shall work for you Amen. and everything about you by the power in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. There shall be a serious elevation of God concerning your life Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. A power of destiny shall come your way. Amen. I pray for someone today. Trouble of life will not shock you Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. The Amen. Bible says when you are passing through the waters of life, you will not be drawn. It will not swallow you. It will not take Amen. you away. Amen. The fire of the Lord Amen. will not burn you. The fire of men will not even burn you by the power in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Rather, the fire of the Holy Spirit will fill you Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. All your desire, that your good desire, shall be given to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Once again, you are welcome. And this is International Christian Association, as you have it on the screen. So, so many of you have been part of us, all this is why we do tell you it is not a church program per se. Rather, it is the word of our Lord Jesus Christ. When they say word of Jesus Christ, word of God, word of the Holy Spirit in one, you know, that, that is sending to this, you know, word, to this air, to this generation at this time to ask us to go and talk about the coming back of our Lord Jesus Christ the second time. That is what this platform is all about, that the word of Jesus Christ towards men to teach man. When I say man, to teach human beings what they're supposed to do, how to spend their life, how to use their life in accordance to the directive of God so that the kingdom of God can be sure in them. Invariably, he said to us that this message is not meant for Christians alone, not for Muslims alone, not for Hindus alone, not for unbelievers alone. Even those who say, I don't believe in God, this message is more important to them than somebody in church. That is why maybe the time you hear this word of God, you put one or two together, and you may be convinced that, yes, this is the word of God for me. That is the reason why we are here to let us know that, yes, the kingdom of God, the message of that kingdom is not about bread and butter. It's not about, you know, dancing, dancing it alone. It's not about singing it alone. It's not about even preaching it as I'm preaching it alone. It's not about teaching as I'm teaching it alone. Now, Jesus Christ said, many are preaching it, many are teaching it, many are forming music on it, dancing about it, they sing it, you know, they raise hands together in praise, and yet they are not in the will of God. 
So he brought us here to come and talk about what we need to do in order for us to achieve the kingdom of God. And if you want to know how far we have gone, why don't you visit the YouTube, search for Prophet Larry Olotu, by the, by the grace of God, you've got it there, or International Christian Association. Hallelujah. As we are in the studio now, we're on Facebook. You can share with anybody you want to, you know, as, as you do it on your social media, you share it, that message of the kingdom of God that is scarce at this time. This message is very scarce at this time. The kingdom of God I shall come one day, and her fire shall come side by side with that kingdom of God. And what you do here will determine. I adventure you have somebody in Nigeria, you want him or her to be part of this program. Ask that person to join us on Legend Platform TV on subscription in Nigeria. Yes, you go along with us while in the studio now. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, if you want somebody to join you on the screen, why don't you tell him to join you on Faith World TV Sky 589? Yes, tell that person to come with his or Bible so that we can enter into the Word of God together. Maybe the last time he or she opened the Bible was, you know, last Sunday in church. This might be another privilege for us to go into the Word of God together. He said, go into the Word. Let people hear what you are reading so that they know the meaning of what I want for, his, for my people. That is the reason why you see us, you know, coming into that Word of God. Bring your Bible. Let us do the work together as people of God. And it shall be well with you as we do so in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. As the program Amen. is going, you see every other thing that God has given to us to observe as a fellowship of God. It's not a church. Fellowship, the people of God, International Christian Association, Association of People of God who want to know the mind of God, who love God. You love God, you want to hear Him. That's our assignment to hear, to share the Word of God together. And it shall be well with us as you do. So if you want to ask more questions, thank God for people who have been coming to us to appreciate, you know, God in our life. People who have been correcting us to do things, you know, in a better way. God will bless all of you in Jesus' name. Yes, my name is Prophet Stephen Arilotu. And the same man of God will be coming. We are here together today. No other person that evangelist. Raphael, I'm going God bless you, sir. Amen, you too. For another grace we receive from the Lord to come and speak his word to his people. And it shall be well with us together in Jesus' name. Amen. We shall, we shall not miss the kingdom that we are talking about. Amen. By the power in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Once again, you are welcome in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Blessings and glory, wisdom, thanksgiving, ah, oh no, power of mind, be unto the Lord forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. Blessings and glory. And glory and glory with we some thanksgiving. Ah, honor to Almighty God, power of mind be unto the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Can I ask you to pray for us as we move on, sir? In the name of Jesus, Amen. We are asking Lord to manifest yourself. Amen. Unto every listener today, Amen. That their life shall not remain the same. Amen. Let there be new life. Amen. New revival. Amen. Into the four part of the world. Amen. For every soul begin to recognize that God is real. Yes, Lord. And out of the darkness into the light mm -hmm. by the word of God. Yes. Let your name be glorified. Amen. Jesus name we pray. Amen. 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 Amen, Amen in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Let somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. <coughs> Amen. Once again, you are welcome. What is it that God is having for us again today? It's no other 
world at the continuation of what we've been talking about of reason. We've been talking about it for a while now, the school of life. I know how powerful that word is to the heart of the Lord, the school of life. God is life, and he put man in that school of life, and man lost it to death in the garden of Eden. And by the power in the name of Jesus Christ that was given to him through his Father, God in heaven, he brought back that school into our midst again. Hallelujah. Amen. That was why when he came here, all his assignment was teaching. He taught man, teaching people. He actually brought the school of God into our means. Hallelujah. Amen. In obedience to the will of God, he came to let us know what God really wanted in heaven. And recently the Lord, you know, we've been talking about that for a while too. The, 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 uh, the, the people called and said, uh, the people of God, children of Abraham, the heirs of Abraham. God said, look at them. All they are doing is to fight, you know, religiously. Hallelujah. Amen. Denominationally, <laughs> they fight. This is not his mind. This is mine. Apollo is mine. Paul is mine. Peter is mine. So don't go to Apollo. Don't go to John. Don't go to Peter. Janet, we must not get to Janet. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. And God said, we are tearing his will among men together. Instead of us to walk in the same mind, in the same commandment of God towards us. Hallelujah. Amen. And who are these people? Islamic and Christianity. You know, we have the same, we prove that we have the same common thing, the same, the same word. I know so many people be talking about, what are you talking about, Islam? Or, because God was the one speaking. That yes, all they need, all many people need them is the understanding, the situation of God. It's not about fighting. The commandment of God is for all of us. If you follow that commandment together, we will, we will walk the same pedestrian of the truth will of God. Hallelujah. It's because we are moved out of the commandment of God. That is why you see somebody worshiping another God. The commandment said, Thou shalt not serve another God. The commandment said, Thou shalt not kill. Because somebody is not in the path of the Lord, that is why you see him killing and is rejoicing about it. Hallelujah. Amen. And now we are talking at this time about why the way of our Lord Jesus Christ is the best way. Why the way he taught us is the best way among every other leaders. Why, particularly the way of our Lord Jesus Christ, why do we think is the best? If you want to know how far we have gone, visit all those things we talk about. You see them. We'll be talking about so many things about it. And God is giving us, you know, new things to talk about. Hallelujah. Amen. What are we talking about today is that God's Spirit is life. God's Spirit is life. In that spirit of God is the best for us because he gave us life through that spirit. When he created man, the God, he built life unto them for them to live like him, to do things like him. Hallelujah. The spirit of God is life to mankind. So he, he came to us to let us know that, yes, when you carry that spirit of God, you will have life. And what does life do? You're going to hear it again today by the power in the name of Jesus Christ. He says, Spirit is not physical of a person's emotion, stroke, you know, decisions you are making, you are, you, things that you are doing, or your feelings, what, what you have within you. Hallelujah. That is yeah. what Spirit is all about. And Spirit of life want. Yeah. You know, want another person to exist. That is why we call it the spirit of God, the spirit of life. When you have this spirit of life in you, you will love the existence of another person. 
But when you when you don't have life in you, you want to consume, you want to destroy another person. So this is the reason why the spirit of life is very important, is very good. This is the thought of our Lord Jesus Christ towards us that we need to carry life. We need the spirit of God inside of us. That is why the ways of our Lord Jesus Christ is the best. One reason is the best. Because he taught us that we need to carry to allow the Spirit of God to work in us as human beings. For you to get into the kingdom of God, for me to get in there, I must allow the Spirit of God to work in me. How will you know if life is not in you? How will you know if that Spirit of life of God is not in you? You're going to hear it now. How? How do you know? How will you know? Luke chapter 9, verse 54 to 56. What does he say, sir? Luke chapter 9. I want to see and the, how, how you will know that, yes, in my daily living, am I in life? Am I walking in the mind of God, in the spirit of God, or in the spirit of myself? What does he say, sir? And when his disciple James and, and John when, saw this. When disciple, when they saw this. Go ahead, sir. They said, they said, Lord, Lord, you want us to command fire to come down from heaven and consume them? Do you want us to allow to call down fire from heaven to consume them? Just as Elijah did. They offered to them, it was an offense to them. When they put down their master, their master said they should give him water to drink. <laughs> it's not about what I'm just uh, he said he said he said they should go and prepare a place for him and they realized maybe Jesus was going to Jerusalem and they thought he's going to stay with them. You know, because he's not going to stay with them. They did accommodate him. And that made disciples to be angry. Mm. Why would they not why would you put down our master? We know how we do it. Hey, is that is that what you have done to my master? And people be fighting for their master, killing people for their master. The spirit of Jesus, which God gave to him to give to us, does not allow it. What does but he, he turned and rebuked them and said, He turned and rebuked them and said, You do not know what manner of spirit you are. You of. don't know the kind of the spirit is in, that is in you. For the Son of Man did not come to destroy since, men's since life. Since you have been my follower, since you are my follower, the spirit that should be ruling you should be this. Since you are my follower, since you call yourself a child of God, it doesn't say I do tell people, will you call yourself a slave of God? Slave, we always love to follow the will of his master. What is it that he's saying to you? If you are a son of God, if you are a daughter of God, how does the spirit inside of you should work? Say, Father, say, Master, why don't you exercise the spirit that you have, the power you have to kill these people like Elijah did during his days? And the Lord so called the book them and said, yes. What does he say again, sir? You do not know what manner of spirit you are of. You should know by now the kind of spirit. What you should allow your emotion to carry out when you are in anger. You're supposed to allow that spirit, that thought of God inside of you to show you what you're supposed to do. Don't, don't, don't behave irrationally as a carnal man, carnal woman, carnal person, carnal brother, carnal sister. What does this say to death that to physics? For the son of man. For the son of man. Did not come to destroy men. Did life. not come to destroy man. But to save them. But to save life. And they went to another village. He says, we are, the spirit of God inside of you is not meant to destroy. May, you know, to allow people to exist, to live. That is why you know how you know if you carry spirit of life, spirit of life will not destroy another person. The spirit of God will not destroy another person. It doesn't matter what somebody is doing to you. 
You say, ha, ah, what are you talking about? Ah, somebody kill my son, kill my daughter, kill. It doesn't matter what anybody is doing unto you. Somebody had offended you. Jesus Christ taught us, he didn't allow them. Like many of you, you have followers today, you know what you allow them to do, to carry out on your behalf. That is one of the reasons why the ways of our Lord Jesus Christ is very different to other ways of so many leaders we are talking about in our days now. Those that have been written down, even why Jesus Christ has even left us. He spoke about Elijah. No, he killed. My father didn't, didn't want anyone to kill anybody. He said, the spirit of God inside of you, that my follower now in this, in this position is to spear people from the error. Just correct them to go out of that error. Hallelujah. Amen. Say somebody who kill. Like I said last week, yes, make sure it's not from you. Make sure it come from God or the government in the city. We saw in the, in the day of, uh, of, 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 of David, where Saul was after him. He saw Saul. So many places, he didn't kill Saul. But there are so many people who came to put to David that they are working for you. You know, the guy who didn't kill Saul came to David to let David know that I was the one who killed him. <laughs> and David didn't spare him. He didn't spare them. He never touched them. So what does he say to us in the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 28? Let's see from verse 3 to 20, quickly. Now Samuel di had died. Now Samuel had died. And all Israel had lamented for him and buried him. Samuel, Samuel was the prophet of, of Israel who died, who was the one, the, the seer for that you know, nation. God speak to him. Like we have so many of them around us today even when we don't believe in them. But in those days, they believe in the prophet of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Like Samuel, they believe in him. But now, he's dead. They won't have to He was and buried him in Ramah. Yes. In his own city. Yes. And Saul had put the mediums and the spirit, spirit, spiritists out of the land. Yes. Then the Philistines... Gathered together. You know, at that time, <clears throat> Saul the king had sent out and killed so many familiar, you know, operators in the land. All those witches and you know, all those, you know, who believe in occultic. He killed them. Witches, familiar spirit. He destroyed them in the land. He said they must obey the will of God. They must follow God. But somehow, somewhere. He disobeyed God, and the Spirit of God, you know, disappeared, depart from him. I was alone. That is how far the Spirit of God should walk in somebody, can walk with anyone. That when you are doing well with God, it will be in control. But you must not allow your thought, your thought, because God will, will allow you to control yourself, to control your thinking, to control your thinking. It will not force you to do whatever you don't want to do. It, it will be ministering to you. That is where you have that conscience that, yes, must I do what I suppose not to do, what I should do unto God? God said, you must go and kill. And when he got there, his peers and disobedience to the will of God, to the mind of God, the Bible call it the spirit of wishes. Hallelujah. Yeah. So not those spiritual wickedness alone are weak before the Lord. Okay. When you disobey God, you will do, you know, things of your own, of yourself. You will do an air before the Lord. He did so. But God departed from him. And Samuel, the Kuranto is no more. What does he say for that, sir? 
Then the Philistines gathered together. Then the Philistines gathered together and came and encamped at the Shwem. And they came to, you know, go raise war against him. So Saul gathered all Israel together. He gathered them together. And they camped at Gilboa. Yes. When Saul saw the army of the Philistines. When Saul now saw the army of the Philistines. He was afraid. He was afraid. And his heart trembled greatly. And his heart trembled greatly. And when Saul. Don't forget that the, 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 the ark of the Lord had been taken away from them. Hallelujah. Amen. One way or the other, they were just losing the presence of the Lord with them. So the Spirit of God is to guide you from doing the will of God. Guide you that is hearing me, me that is speaking, all of us together. Either you are a Muslim, you are a pagan, you are atheist, you are whatever. The Spirit of God, the commandment of God is to guide us to the will of God, to do the will of God. If you have it all over the world, now there will be no, there will be no trouble. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. We do say there is no trouble. We, I was telling the man of God, we were called and said, people don't understand the word of God anymore. 2020, God said, because of our sin all over the world, it's going to punish us. He said there is going to be air in the land. He said it's going to batter our economy. He said there will be scarcity all over. He said it all over. God was saying it. But instead of people to listen to the word of God there, to go before the Lord, say, God, we are sorry. Many are praying about it, but we see a majority of people around that are doing what God doesn't like, that made him angry then. We are still doing it. You know, I said it last week, in uh, 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 all these uh, lesbians and, uh, and gays, you know, all of, yeah, in, in nakedness. Hallelujah. Killings all over. In my country now, killings. You can see the one in, 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 in Ukraine. To church and keep Some people go to church, they keep people. And you want God to be happy. What he say we must cease is what we are still doing. And we are, in fact, uh, fuel this morning, uh, when my wife bought fuel yesterday, he said it was 119 or whatever. Yes. 119 yeah. something. Nearly two, nearly two pounds. Nearly two pounds now. We are not, we are not, we are not swearing. We are shouting now. We are feeling the heat now. And because we don't want to hear what God is saying anymore. And God departed from him. And now war came to his double. The war happened there after that. When, when, Saul, when Saul saw the army of the Philistines, yes. he was afraid. Yes. And his heart trembled greatly. Yes. And when Saul in care of the Lord. When Saul now, when he now ready to go before the Lord. The Lord, the, the Lord did not answer him. He didn't hear from the Lord anymore. Either by dreams. Or Either by, by dream. Rim, or by Urim. By Urim. Or by the prophets. Or by the prophets. The Saul said. Don't forget that at the point God said to Simon, why, why are you concerned about Saul? I have moved away from him. I will not speak about him anymore. Hallelujah. Amen. That is why we are talking about today. That if you don't hear from the Lord, you cannot hear God speak to you. Hallelujah. You don't carry the Spirit of God, you cannot have people of God speaking to you. God will not speak to you. He will shut you down. Somebody said, Jesus Christ around. Uh, God was around when God said he's not good to hear. Thank God for mercy of God around us. We are not saying there's no mercy. Mercy is there. But we see people today that God said, I'm not going to speak to them anymore. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Like Paul. I mean, like Saul. I won't speak to them anymore. That government, I won't speak to him anymore. That president, I won't speak to him anymore. I will allow him to do all he wants to do <clears throat> till I come to take him away. What does he say for that, sir? <laughs> The, and the, then Saul said to his servants, He said to the servant, Find me. He was concerned, troubled. Find me a woman who is a medium. Find me a woman who is a medium. That I may go to her and inquire of her. That I may go to her to inquire from her. And the servant said to him, Yes. In fact, in fact there is a woman who is a medium at Endor. 
there's a woman at end of. <laughs> so saw so disguise he disguised himself and put uh, on he had no confidence food. again he was the one who chased them and who killed them I needed the evil spirit now that he destroyed for God's sake <laughs> hallelujah the moment you you move out of the will of God out of the spirit of God you become an evil man evil woman evil brother evil sister <clears throat> Hallelujah. Amen. Those he doesn't want to befriend then because he knew that they, are, they were not of God. Like many of you today, you believe in those familiar spirits. They are not of God. You cannot hear the true directive of God from them. That is why we have troubles in our lands all over. You know the one you believe? You believe a cow. What do you want to hear from cow as your God? That stone. As, uh, what do you want mm. to hear from him? The river, what do you want to hear from river speaks? You believe in the spirit. Let's go ahead. You believe the spirit of man. So so disguise himself. So he disguised himself. And put on another clothes. He put on another clothes. And he went. He didn't want to show himself as the mm. king. Who loved God yesterday? Who loved to do his own thing now? Because of disobedience to the will of God, sin to the things of God. Many of us, we are looming in sin, in sinful nature today. And we are still calling ourselves people of God. Hallelujah. People of God. People of God, all those signs we put across us, doesn't make up people of God. That's your color, that's your robe, that's your portion, you know, a title they give unto you. That's your bishop, title you, you carry, that a prophet you carry, doesn't make you, doesn't put that yes, doesn't put that yes, you are a good imam. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. He disobeyed God, and God departed from him. And he went. And he went. And two men with him. Yes. And they came to the woman by night. They came to the woman by night. Yes. And he said, "Please conduct a a, a sins for me. Yes. And bring up for me the one I shall name to you." Then the woman said to him. And the woman said to him, "Look, look. you know that what Saul has done. You know what Saul has done. How she he didn't know she was speaking to 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 the king that hated." The evil spirit in the land that's the one that is looking for the help from the helpless. How can how he has cut off the mediums and the spirituals? How he destroyed every, every, every evil spirit in the land. What? That was why I ran here too. Why then do you? You must not let him hear that you are here for me, so to look for me because he wouldn't want it. He didn't, she didn't know that it was Paul, I mean, Saul himself that disguised. Why? The moment you move out of the will of God, you become a disguised man of God, disguised woman of God because you not hear God adequately. Hallelujah. You'll be reading the, the, the Bible, you'll be quoting it, but you not hear God speaks. You'll be looking for eternity for you. That is why you want someone to pray for you, to pray on your behalf, and hear what God is saying for, for concerning you. Why then do you lay a snare for my life to cause me to die? And the soul swore to her by the Lord, saying, As the Lord lives, no punishment shall come upon you. Fear was still upon that woman. If you should allow soul to hear that you are here, for me, sir, to, uh, to inquire from the evil spirit, I cover my head, oh, I am, I am here to, you know, to cover my head. Don't let her kill me. He did, she didn't know that it was the same soul that had become an evil man now because he disobeyed God. What are we talking about today? We are talking about God's spirit, his life. The moment you lose it, the moment you lose it, you become a dead person. You become a dead person. Unless you come back to God again. I'm not saying you are going to die forever. If you can come back to God and say, God, I am sorry. I am sorry. That is why Jesus Christ died for us to bring, you know, mercy and grace to man. But if you say it doesn't matter, then which means that person will die like Saul, the king saw then. What does he say, sir? 
And so swear to her. And so now I swear to her. By the Lord. By the Lord. Saying. By the Lord saying. As the Lord lives. As the Lord lives. No punishment shall come upon you. No punishment things. shall come upon you. For these things. For these things. Then the woman said. And the, because Paul, you know, Paul was oh. somebody who had been living under the Spirit of God. For don't forget, when he was anointed, the Spirit of God came upon him. He prophesied. So he has the mind of God. He has the voice of the Lord. He was just talking like a child of God to that woman. We are the Spirit of God has left him. Then the woman said, And the woman said, Whom shall I bring up for you? Who shall I bring up to you? And he said, Bring up. And he said, Bring up. Samuel for me. Samuel, a dead man. I need the spirit of a dead man. When the woman saw Samuel, I need the spirit of a dead man. Are you one of those that the spirit of the dead man you are talking about is your leaders? That you trusted in. Whereas they, 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 many of them died in error. Rather than having walking in the spirit of God, in the mind of God, in obedience to his will. You are just doing it, you know, the way you like it, the way to give yourself, you know, honor and glory before men. You key to have glory. You key to have power. You key to have names. And the Spirit of God will never live with such people. It doesn't matter the kind of prophecy you give. It doesn't matter the kind of, you know, preachings you give. He said many will preach. To, uh, to bring people to the kingdom, why they themselves will leave the kingdom? What does she say, sir? When the woman saw Samuel, when the woman <clears throat> saw Samuel, she cried out with a loud voice. She, the, you know, he cried out with loud voice. And the woman sp spoke to Saul. And the woman spoke to Saul, saying, saying, Why have you deceived me? Why have you deceived me? For you are Saul. <laughs> The whole king, a brave man, man of honor, because he forsook God now, shame came upon him. He began to hide his authority. He began to hide his, uh, his, his charisma. He began to hide his honor. Hallelujah. Amen. That is what happens to so many people. When they lose God, they lose for under, under, or alternative, other powers. In order for them to keep that position going. Whereas, instead of them to come back to God, to say, God, I am sorry. I am sorry. To go to fasting and prayer and say, God, I am sorry. See, God will say, okay, I pardon you. They will not do it. But rather, they want to patch the whole, journey the whole movement into damnation. What does he say for that, sir? Why have you deceived me? Yes. For you are so. Yes. And the king said to her. And the king said to her, "Do not be afraid. Don't be afraid. What did you see? Now that you know me, now I'm not going to kill. What does? What do you see? What did you see? What did you see? And the woman said to Saul, Say, "Yes, I saw a spirit. I saw a spirit ascending out of the earth. Yes. So he said to her, What is his form? And he said, An old man is coming up. An old man is coming up. And he's covered with the man. We have so many spirits <clears throat> in our environment, this world." Many spirit of all dead bodies, dead people, we have them. Hallelujah. We have them. We have them. But when you depend on them, it will not work for you. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Many people, when they see how, when they carry, you know, some, some, some they believe in, we call some juju, we cause, uh, I don't, because I don't use it, I don't, all those fetchy things. Many will have this and still call the name of God. God, I know if <laughs> it's you that will allow this to work for me, <laughs> which means they don't believe in what they carry already. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. What does he say for that, sir? So he said to her, He said to her, What is his for his form? Yes. And he, she said, An old man is coming up and he's covered with a mantle. Yes. And the son perceived that it was Samuel. And when he mentioned mantle, he said, Ah! This must be Samuel. And he stopped with uh, with uh, with his face to the ground. Yes. And, and they bowed down. Mm -hmm. Now Samuel said to Saul, Yes. Why have you disturbed me? Why are you disturbing by me? By bringing me up. And Saul said, Answer, 
I am deeply distressed. I'm distressed. For the foolish thing make war against me, uh -huh. and God has departed from me uh -huh. and does not answer me anymore. Uh -huh. Neither by prophets, yes, nor by dreams, yes. Therefore, therefore, I have called you. I have called that you. you. May reveal to me that you will talk because I he knew he, he knew that some kind of spirit. What I what about you walk with while you are here? That is the spirit you you carry even when you you are dead. What I should do? When you believe in, in stone, when you die, it is the same spirit. You look at that, that woman and say, call out to me, anyone. Which means there are so many spirits. Hallelujah. Many watching snakes. Hallelujah. What do you want to hear from snake? What does it say for that, sir? What, what I should do? What I should do? The same said. And same, the spirit of Samuel now said, not even Samuel, the spirit of Samuel now spoke to him. So why do you ask me? Why do you ask me? Seeing the Lord has departed from you. Seeing the Lord has departed from you. And has I have no what to tell you. You know, it's God that speaks to me about you. He never spoke anymore. I have no word to give unto you. And has become... And when you are outside the will of God, there's no word unto you that the word of repentance. Coming back home to the mind of the Lord, you cannot hear any directive. If you are disobedient child to God, it will not direct you anymore than the word of repentance. <laughs> Hallelujah. That is why we have a destroyed life, a destroyed community now, worldwide, nationwide, destroyed cities, because there's no spirit of God anymore in our world. The Spirit of God is lacking in the churches of God. God spoke about it. He's talking to his people, his prophets. He departed from you and has become your enemy. God has departed from you. He had, he, had, he had become your enemy. Therefore, I am your enemy. I cannot be a friend of who God is an enemy to. And the Lord has done for himself as he spoke by me. For the Lord has turned the kingdom out of your hand and give it to your neighbor David. Don't forget God has done what he said to you. What is that somebody is saying about you that God says, and you are fighting and answering on it, instead of to go back to God and say, God, I am sorry. And had your eyes and your face and your head under the bush, under the words of the Lord. He said, it is the word of God that I have spoken. Because you never come back to God to say sorry. You rather love to do your own thing. Your own thing brought you before this woman. You are a child of God yesterday, but you are now a listener, a, mean a listener to the voice of Satan, devil, spirit of devil. Hallelujah. Why is the will of the Lord Jesus Christ is the best? It made us to know that if you don't have the spirit of God inside of you, spirit of devil will be working in you. It is that spirit you will believe in. And when you believe in the spirit of all these people we are talking about, all these cows, all these, all these, all these bulls, you, you, you are worshiping one, 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 one giant man that died in your, in your, in your community. He killed before he died. <laughs> he kills so many people. He dies. He kills so many people. And you want to believe in his spirit. You won't hear anything. You won't have any directive. That is why we have trouble in our land today. The spirit of God, that God's spirit, is life that can make us to hear from the Lord. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And... But the Lord has turned the kingdom out of your hand. He has turned the kingdom from your hand. And given it to your neighbor, David. He has given it to David. Because you did not obey the voice of because the Lord. Because you did not obey the voice of the Lord. No, execute his fiery wrath upon Amalek. You did not do what he said you should do over Amalek. Therefore, the Lord has done this thing to you that, that, this that, day. That, that, that's okay, sir. Let's see quickly what Matthew chapter 12 from verse 38 says. Quickly. We are talking about the Spirit of God. Jesus so Christ said, the Spirit of God is the best. When you lose it, don't expect anything good from your side to your community. 
to your household. When the Spirit of God departed from you, <clears throat> you become an enemy to your wife, enemy to your husband, enemy to your household, enemy of good things around. You hate that your brother, you hate that your sister. You never befriend them for no reason. What does this say, sir? Then some of the tribes and Pharisees answered. Then some Pharisees, they came to him, they answered. Saying, saying, teacher, those that were in church, those that were in synagogue, those that believe in God, they not answer, they ask question from him. They responded to them, master, teacher, teacher, we want to see a sign from you. We want a sign from you. But he answered and said to them, a sign for what? Sign for the kingdom of God? Okay. Okay, you need a sign for it. You don't need any sign for the kingdom of God and that to do the will of God. No sign. Forget about sign. All we want, all this we are seeing today, a uh, flood uh, that were killing all this uh, lightning, what are you about? The best sign for us is the commandment of God, to follow the commandment of God. When you follow, when I follow it, Deep down, the will of God, it doesn't matter your religion. That's where people are missing in. When you are in the commandment of God, <laughs> you will see God. He will come to you. He will take you home. He will lead you to where he wants to serve him. Commandment of God, first. When you are in the commandment, you will not kill. You might be in church and be, and, 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 and be a killer. You can be in the mosque as a mom and kill and when you are a killer, there it means you are not in the will of God. The word of God is very straight. If you say, I believe, I, 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 I give my life to the source Christ. If you are still a killer, you are not there yet. You are not there yet. All those sinful natures, you are not there. We are getting the word of your sister. Go ahead. Sir. But he answered and said, but to, he answered them, and said to them, an evil and adulterous generation. An evil and adulterous, say, an adulterous, you know what adulterous means? Adulterous generation. generation. Six after a sign. Though that was doing things against the things of God. And no sign will be given to it except the signs of Prophet Jonah. Yes, you will see any sign than a, a sign of a disobedient child. <laughs> yes, for, sir. For as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of the great fish, yes. so will the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the earth of the earth. Yes. The men of Nineveh... You will see the sign that I am going to die for three days, and I will rise up. The men of Nineveh will, are, will rise up in the judgment with this generation and condemn it. And those, they those repent, people, they believe in the word of God, that's why that they sinned and they repented. He said they'd be better than this generation. This generation that will never repent like Saul. They will never repent from their evil ways because they know better than God. We know better than God now because we can preach. Because we are a crusader, we know better than God. Why we are doing things? Somebody, somebody is a crusader. The lame walk, the blind sees. After that crusade, he takes another person's wife to bed to commend himself as self for that service well done. And you call yourself for the kingdom of God. Think about what does this say, sir? Because they repented at the preaching of Jonah. Yes. And indeed, the greater than Jonah is here. Yes. The queen of the south will rise up in the judgment with this generation. Yes. And condemn it. Uh -huh. For she came from the ends of the earth. Yes. To hear the wisdom of Solomon. Uh -huh. And indeed, the greater than Solomon is here. Yes. When an unclean spirit goes out of a man. When an unclean spirit goes out of a man. He goes to dry places. He goes into a dry places. Seeking rest. Seek your eyes. And find none. And find none. Then he says. Then the Lord says. That's what he will say. I will return to, uh, to my house from, my, from which I came. I will now return to my house that I drop out from. And when he comes. When he comes. He finds, the, he, he finds it empty. When he finds that place empty. Sweat and put in order. Which means when you are an evil person. When God help you to chase away the evil spirits out of you, you must allow the Spirit of God to rest, to rest in you. Because devil will not leave you 
without having the spirit inside of you. What does it will happen? Then he goes and takes just with him. Yes. Seven other spirits. He will now go and borrow seven more because more that wicked place, than, more wicked than himself. More wicked than himself. And they enter and dwell there. Maybe and the last state of that man is if worse. Are, if, if what you do before is just to kill, but then I come back and I say oh, begin to drink blood. Don't kill. Don't just kill anyhow anymore. Just start to drink blood like water. That is what they would do. That is what evil spirit does. And the last state of that man yes. is worse than the first. So shall it also be with this wicked generation? So what does he say to the book of Ephesians quickly, chapter 5? Let's see from verse 16 quickly. So that we know that there's difference between the spirit of evil and the spirit of good. And what is it that we need to do when the Spirit of God is in, in us, an evil spirit. What does he say, sir? Redeem the time. Redeem the time. Because the days are evil. Because the days are evil. Therefore, Therefore do not be unwise. Do not be unwise. But, but understand what the will the of the Lord is. The days of evil. Because the day will always want to avenge yourself. Somebody will offend you. Ah, I won't, I won't agree. That is the evil you can see in the day. You kill in the day, you steal in the day, you fornicate in the day. Ah, you oh you did this unto me, I will do that to you. Husband say, Oh, my wife, you allow that man to touch you. Okay, I will show you. I will know I will not go and touch another woman. So that you know that what you have the pain you have caused me. That's a evil. But we not, we need to redeem the days ahead of us. What does this say? Therefore, therefore, do not be unwise. Don't be do not be unwise. But understand yes. that the will of the Lord. Yes. Is uh -huh. and do not be drunk with the wine, yes, in which is the dispersion, yes, but be filled with the spirit, yes, speaking to one another uh -huh. in psalms uh -huh. and hymns uh -huh. and spiritual songs, uh -huh. singing and making melody, yes, in your heart to yes. the Lord, uh -huh. giving thanks always uh -huh. for all things to God the Father, yes, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, yes. Submitting to one another yes. in the fear of God. Uh -huh. Wives, Wives, submit to your husband yes. as the Lord. Uh -huh. For the husband is head of the wife. Yes. As also Christ is head of the church uh -huh. and he is the savior of the body. Yes. Therefore, Therefore, just as the church is subject to Christ, uh -huh. so let the wife be to their husband That's okay, sir. and everything. That's okay, sir. Husband, love your That's wives. Okay, sir. That's okay, sir. Hallelujah. Amen. You're talking about the Spirit of God. That when you carry that Spirit of God in you, you do all that you say here. We submit to ourselves. We love ourselves. We carry out the loss of the Lord. You not just do your own thing anyhow. Women, you know, you know, you don't want to listen to your husband. Maybe because you, you earn more than him. Or uh, husband, you don't want to love your wife because you something is just it's just happening that yes, you don't even want to go by the will of God anymore. Every one of us will stand before the Lord that day to ask questions because all He has given to us is to guide us to walk in peace and harmony within our communities, in our households. Hallelujah. Amen. You will offend yourself, <clears throat> but what do you do to make sure you overrule that offense? Until we come back again, let us go in this. Word of God today, that Jesus Christ said, go and tell my people, God's place is life in man. When you lose it, you'll be misbehaving, you know, against the will of God for you. When a man misbehaves against the will of God, he's a gunner, he's a dead man, dead woman. You don't allow the word of God to control you anymore, to do things as I fear, if not that I fear God, I will have done this to you. If that is away from you, then begin to retain. If you want to be prayed for today, receive your healing. Amen. Spiritual healing, Amen. physical healing. Amen. May the Lord pray for you Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God will anchor your life. Amen. 
into victory. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus, you are more than conqueror. In the name of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. the Spirit of God will rest upon you. Amen. You have more understanding Amen. in the will of God. Amen. You have the passion for the will of God. Amen. Jesus Christ said, my passion here is to do the will of my Father. That will be your passion, will be our passion together. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. you will not miss the kingdom of God. Amen. I will not miss mine. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You do tell people, you are not giving your life to Jesus Christ. Please do it now. What is it to give life to Jesus Christ? It's to submit to the teaching of our Lord Jesus Christ. If it will teach, I mean, it cause you to go into the word of God and begin to read, read, read so that you have the understanding. Let it be. When you, when you submit yourself to that will of God, then you become his. The kingdom of God will be sure for you because the Holy Spirit will be teaching you what to do. And you want to follow the Holy Spirit. You don't, have, you don't obey the Holy Spirit. You are, not, you are not serving God. If Jesus tarries. By this same time, we shall appear next week. But don't forget that what we are talking about now is that God's Spirit is life in man. When you allow that Spirit to control you, then you are alive. But when you don't allow it to control you, you are a dead man, a dead sister, a dead, a dead brother, and shall be well with you if you come back. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Hello, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. My name is Prophet Stephen Darolotu from International Christian Association. Please join me on every Thursday between 2 and 3 o'clock you know, to hear what God is having for us at this time, the message of the coming back of our Lord Jesus Christ the second time. This message is very needful at this time to prepare for the coming back of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's very essential, very important that yet you tell somebody to come and join you as you come. Don't come alone because it is very, very special and necessary. We shall be well with you as you do so in the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you. Wonderful story of